hey everyone, welcome back to Rebecca's Coloring Arts and Crafts. So today, I'm just gonna check that's focused. Now it's definitely focused. It seemed like it was out of focus again. <laughs> today I'm going to start a piece from Joanna Bassford's Lost Ocean by request. Um, there is a few things. This part's probably going to be more just adding in our little um, drawn bits and additions to the piece and then probably next time we'll be more starting on the colouring and stuff. I'm going to try and make it as simple as possible. I'm not sure how to do that because I didn't really do very well at my last tutorial trying to explain how I draw things. So I'm going to see if I can do better today. So basically what I've just done here so far is I've drawn a squiggly line and I'm trying to keep this lightish so I don't know if you can see it but I'll just go over it lightish and basically I'm just doing these little bits of angles because I'm actually going to turn this into underwater rocks in a bit but um, to do so you do kind of need this I guess it's more like a a bit of a zigzag shape but with some curves in it as well and I'm just adding pretty much adding two of these into each of um, this bottom ocean section and I'm bringing it up over the line where the sand ends so I'm trying to make this have a little more depth than it currently does so it doesn't look um, as flat pretty much and they aren't the same heights on either side I'm not worried about that I just I'm more interested in making sure that I do have some depth here on our piece um, I've got two little sections just like one's poking out from behind the other kind of thing and then what I want to do is I also want to do the same back here and we want to add it in at the back. We're going to add in some more seaweed but we're also going to add in another squiggle line down the back here um, behind all our seaweed because we just want to bring in some background features as well. So I'm just basically, shall we say, aiming to make this as um, like this background bit might be more sand rather than rock I haven't decided I'm thinking yeah I might make this background bit more sand rather than rock and I'm going to turn it into like a bit of a like we're in a bit of a cave um, basically so I'm going to bring this up around and obviously our light will be coming down from the top because we'll have a hollow at the top but we're going to turn it into like a cave so what I'm doing here is I'm sort of bringing it out from there and I'm sort of narrowing it out so um, I was thinking of like a cave behind but I'm not sure I might sort of but the no, it doesn't have to be a proper cave. It can just be like in a little hollow dip kind of thing with the ocean between it. I was trying to think how it sort of work. If you have it here, then obviously you've got a hollow here behind, but you don't have the light on the front of the octopus so much. But then you could have still have some light. Or it could be night time too. So you could work it in as a very dark blue like it's night time with the treasure lighting things up. I like that idea. I like it a lot. So we're going to turn this into like a cave type effect. And what we're going to do is we're going to leave a bit of a hollow up the top. But at the same time, we still want to, shall we say, bring this up to meet our sort of, oh, I say everything with sort of, but we want to bring this up to meet up the top here where our 
light source would come from where there is a little bit of an entrance into our cave. So, um, and you probably didn't really see all of that line that I was just drawing then because of the fact I was a bit zoomed in. Sorry about that. So I'll try and, I'll go over and highlight that line again just so that you can see it. So what I'm doing is I'm coming, I'm using a Faber-Castell 2B pencil too, I forgot to say that, but just any sort of drawing pencil will be fine. And we're going to erase these lines before we do them. But we're basically bringing a cave type wall down here. We're creating a cave type effect and then we've got like some cave or sandy rocky bits at the front here too. So I'm not decided. I might not turn these into rocks. I might leave it sort of more a sandy feature. I'm, I'm just trying to decide because I was thinking of turning them into like a rocky looking rock but then under the water doesn't always have a rocky type rocks because it wears them away and that it's more sort of compact sands and dirts and all of those sorts of things so I'm trying to decide exactly what I want to do there and we want to just bring that all the way down to where our treasure chest meets here and then I'm going to roughly just to tell roughly where to bring it out on the other side of the chest I'm going to bring my ruler across and roughly mark the spot where it would start again so I just we're just um, in between like the clock chain and the clock there so then we want to start there and I'm going to just erase that mark again to start this and then I'm going to come out and we're going to start raising it up again so so we're sort of starting to I guess raise our our cave walls up. I'm trying to decide exactly how I sort of want this to look. And I'm just going to quickly make a mark roughly where I get to my narrowest point so that I've got an idea I think it's like somewhere around there so it's about here that we want to start raising our walls up and dipping them in and out and same for down here I think I'm just going to raise this up just a little more I am just erase that previous line and bring it up a little more sort of meet more with what's happening with our background walls as well I still think kind of think I would like to have like a rocky feature at the front and then like more sandy at the back so I think I'm still going to go ahead and do what I was thinking of doing I think I am. I'm just trying to work it out roughly. Like it doesn't have to be exactly the same as the other side, but I'm just trying to roughly work out where I'm going with all our lines. So I'm hoping you can sort of see roughly where I've put them. I know this side's lighter, but I will go over it again so to show you roughly where I've put them. And then 
yeah, I think I'm going to turn these front areas into rocks. And then I'm going to add in some more bits of seaweeds and things like that. Like more seaweed in the background area and maybe another layer of like rock to make it look like we're going around and we're like, like we're in an actual cave. I'm not sure. I haven't fully decided on that bit yet. But we should play it by ear. So this video may not be as long just because it sort of is, I guess, a bit of a tutorial on just the drawing part. And then we'll obviously get to the drawing part. So I'm just going to mark here roughly where I start going out again. So it's not any specific measurement or anything, it's just roughly marking where I'm sort of starting to raise out into the next area so that I know sort of where I'm going. It is. And they're obviously not going to be totally level or equal or even. But I'm just going to come back over to our top area here and I just want to start bringing it down to meet the area that we've got from there. And I'm just going to do this side slightly differently so I'm going to bring it down into a dip and then out. And these back areas won't be rocky bits as much. Um, it is quite different this side. I'm not sure why it's so different, but hmm. no, that is the spot where it was roughly needed to come out to. It's something to do with this part here. So this is what regularly goes on with me when I'm trying to <laughs> draw something in. It just seems to go like this where you're constantly sort of trying to decide or work out how things work. So I'm just going to retry this again. try with this side. I just want to make some slight changes to this side too. So it's not quite raising out so much. So this is what I regularly do till I feel sort of happy with what I've done. It's not totally this equal but it'll work and then lastly I think what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to bring in a final section of wool 
back here. And I think I'm going to bring it up just a little more rather than the short distance where I had it. So the distance where I had it, I just want to bring it up a little more to more sort of meet with the wall. So I'll just trace that over again because I don't know if you can really see the line. I'm trying to do it light but not, or darkish but not too dark so that I can erase it and color over the area. So we're just bringing that down here. Then we're gonna just, I'll quickly bring the line over our other side. And I'm sort of using a bit of a zigzag slash curve shape. So not proper sharp zigzag, but just a mix. And then we want to work out where this is going to come out over our other side as well. Wait, just, it's not that we won't have it um, coming, we wouldn't have it, would have it coming down here. I would think, oh no, maybe not because we're kind of doing a bit of a spiral around the back of our our little water area. So we probably would have it spiraling around kind of thing. So you kind of want to bring this one out here. I think, is that about right? Yeah, that's about right. So we want to bring that out here and we want to sort of do the rough little circular but zigzaggy at the same time. And basically what you're doing is you go over these tentacles I still follow my line where I want to go and then I bring it back in when it gets to that point. And then I'm also going to roughly mark up here where we need to um, end our little zigzag area so that we sort of got an idea where we need to bring it into. And there we go, that's our little um, zigzaggy lines. So I think I am just gonna leave these. I'm just tossing up whether I want them as rocky or sort of sandy. So I think I'm actually going to go and research that quickly and then we're going to come back and we'll look at adding in some seaweed and see what I've decided about ocean floors and what the sort of ocean floors look like. I want to decide that before I go adding anything in particular into these spots. So yeah I really hope you can sort of see where we're going here. I'll just quickly go over this line again and hopefully you can sort of See that? And yeah, so I will go and um, quickly research this and check this out and then I will be back. So hey everyone, I'm back. Um, 
Sorry, it's been a little while since I've been able to record. I've been in a lot of pain, so I'm going to try and do this while I'm under the effects of painkillers. Yeah. Um, so I'm going to keep going here. I'm going to do add a little bit more of um, a drawn area onto here. So I'll zoom in so that you can kind of see. And I'm going to do add another piece to this upper area just to allow it to keep going. Um, I'm going to shift my paper up there. And then I'm not quite sure, I've kind of got ideas of where I want to add seaweed, but I'm not quite sure yet, so I may or may not add the seaweed in yet. So what I want to do is I want to start bringing in um, this upper area around where, um, from a bit of the way, on our previous area and then I want to bring it around up here but not too thick or too wide but at the same time I'm going a bit too curvy for what I want so I'm trying to just do this so that you can see it but kind of want to just bring in a bit of a second layer in the back ground area and we just want to bring that in and around I guess so it's kind of, we want to, probably want to, do I want it connected or not? Well it kind of is in the background so I'm not too worried about it having to be connected or anything. Um, I kind of think I like it how it is at that point. Now I'm just going to roughly check where I sort of started with this one. I want to try and get it levelish over the other side. So just doing a bit of a mark just to show roughly where I want to start with my ruler and then I kind of want to bring that one up um, so I'm just going to I'm not actually drawing a line over these fish but just so I know roughly where it's coming out or where I think I'm going to bring it out just to look um, so I think I'm gonna bring it out a bit further over here just to keep it a bit closer to where I want it to be and then over here we're going to have to switch to our going the opposite direction so we want it to be coming out this way so that we're going down the same direction as our upper area of the cave walls I guess you could say that's the best way I can think to explain it it is And there is our, I think that's what I'm going to do for our cave walls. I hope you can kind of see that anyway. I am considering in some ways changing this. I think I'm going to change this slightly and bring it in so it's like a little entrance area. The octopus has come in so it's like a proper cave without so much light coming down from the top. Instead the light will be from like our treasure and things like that. So what I'm going to actually do is I'm going to erase just um, the top bits along here and I want to sort of I think I'm going to try and connect our outer sides here so I'm going to yeah 
instead of closing that along there, I kind of want to bring it around and connect the two if I can. But leaving space so it sort of looks like a bit of a cave wall. And it's got other pencil colours on there somehow. I'm guessing it's come off the eraser. But yeah, this is about the only time when I use my eraser is when I'm um, working out where I want to go. So we want to, I'm going to bring it down roughly from about here to meet. So we want to bring this one down a little and then out and we want to bring it All sorts of, I guess, little bits of squiggly ways. And bring that down to meet the other side. And then as for our little upper areas, that will change a little bit. And I think I'm going to just have them meet similar like like our upper area is met, I think I'm going to have them meet also with the upper area. we go. Now, sort of, I'm still kind of working out the details here, but what I think I'm going to start with is adding some seaweed in our bottom areas and then work on adding some, I'm kind of considering like some stalagmites or something on the top of the roof cave or something. Um, I'm still kind of playing with that idea but I think what I want to start with is I just want to add in um, I'm just wondering should I do the same as what Joanna's got here with seaweeds or should I add in some of my own seaweed type as well so I think I'm going to do a mix of both so I'm gonna add in just some of my own seaweed but also I'm also going to add in um, bits and pieces of Joanna's seaweed as well and we just want to make sure that we fit it in here as well different heights as well and I'm just I'm not actually drawing on the seaweed I'm just I'm sort of roughly following my line over it I am So I'm just adding in those bits of seaweed there just because like they are thicker but just because they kind of fit with the skinny bit so join the seaweed and I'm also going to add more skinny bits and other types of seaweed in too. So I'm basically um, just following the lines of what Joanna's done. For my pieces, I just did like a thick rounded seaweed. 
bit. Whereas for um, this piece of Joanna's, I'm basically just um, following rough curves of her. If it goes part um, behind something, I'm not drawing the line over that. I'm just, I guess, tracing it in front or behind. So I'm just going around and adding little bits in. I'm sure there will be more here. Um, I'm not quite sure how to explain it or show it properly. I'm trying to think of best ways to explain or show things, but I'm sort of struggling to work that out at the minute. Um, I'll probably add some little bits of seaweed at the back here too, but um, what I'm just going to do, I think, is just show you with these front areas, or no, I should probably show you the whole thing because I said that I kind of would, so. So there are bits of seaweed over here that aren't actually over the opposite side. So I'm going to add some of those bits in here. And we want to just, where it goes over little lines, we just want to erase them and then add the little bit of the line back again. So this is like a little, I guess, leafy type seaweed. I'll add that line back in once I've got the main bit done. I'm trying not to do this too dark as well with the drawing, but it's kind of a little hard to avoid sometimes. So we want, kind of want those bits touching, so I'm just going to erase. Try not to do this too many times because it can mark the page when you're colouring it. But I kind of want to make sure those little leafy bits are touching the whole way down. And we want to just bring it in like a little circle oval. And I want to bring them a little bigger than that, like so, like not really thin. So I want to keep my line there. Oops, not quite that big either. Okay. I'm kind of doing this, I think, a little dark with the lines, so I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to totally erase them away. That's the thing that I'm more worried about than, than the other bits, just because the darker the line, the harder it is to erase bits away, so... you want lighter colours in that area so I'm gonna have to be clever about how I'm going to blend those colours or those lines into the piece as I erase as I go but also um I'm ugh what am I thinking I'm gonna have to be careful trying to blend those colours in and the lines just to camouflage the dark bits that actually can't be erased. But yeah, so we're sort of added in a piece of seaweed over from here. Um, there are seaweeds over here that aren't over here. Same for opposite sides. So I'm going to sort of switch pieces around as I go. So another one that isn't over here is um, I just want to check. Whoops, you couldn't see much of that. Um, whoops! <laughs> My apologies. So basically, what I was explaining, I didn't realize you couldn't see it. I was just explaining how to do this little seaweed here. So basically, I drew a single line with the shape of it. Then I erased some of the lines from our little cave wall where it would um, just overlap and make it look funny. And then I just drew little 
like oval circles but they ended up with a point so like a teardrop shape and also here I just drew a little bit of my own seaweed with a rounded circle on it so you'll see here is my piece so it's just got a rounded circle and I've drawn three bits of that obviously I will be adding more of those pieces in as I go and I've also over here I've added some little pointy pieces of seaweed that are the same as Joanna's and so what I was just saying was there's um, pieces on either side that aren't on either that are different types of seaweed on different sides so this side's got this curly piece of seaweed which we will add some of that in over here we just added in a piece of at least one piece of this one over here obviously there will be more added in probably in some of these background areas I am yet to decide on that but what I'm going to do now is there's a little piece of seaweed here that isn't over here as well so I'm going to add that in over here and this is like a little just twisty like alien-y type of seaweed so it's just basically using swirls and then it's uh, not done quite right there I will get it but what I want to do is basically bring it out and then in and then each time we're sort of spreading it, trying to make it a little wider if we can. So this time I'm going to bring it a little further out. And then we've got a final one, which is dipping in and then it's coming up in an upwards sort of circle. And these don't have to be even because they're not even in Joanna's ones. So we're sort of doing these in different little squiggle shapes, basically. We are. Then what we want to do, once we've got that shape there, we want to bring in some little teardrops in our ends. More teardrops in the ends. And the ones that are too skinny for the teardrops, we are not going to worry about as much. But where we can add teardrops, we will add them. And then also just down this little centre we've got a, um, like some little small circles in sets of three it looks like. And then down here a set of two. So we've done that little, um, I guess you could say, piece of seaweed. So I'm just going to pause for a minute anyway and whilst I do I'm going to grab a drink and think about how I'm going to add in um, the other sort of seaweed areas and see about this because I'm thinking like a third piece would work but it's probably going to be too crowded here so I may have to add some down here or I'm going to have to work that out but I just wanted to add what was over this side over this side and so on and so forth um, obviously right now we've got some like two two kind of thing but we don't all want even numbers some maybe even numbers some maybe odd numbers but yeah anyway I will be back shortly and yeah I will see you then so hey everyone we're back so I want to bring in um, some more 
bits and pieces seaweed but I think what I'm going to do is I might just add in some little bits of this over here just because well it's not gonna hurt and I want to but I'm going to actually do this one a different direction so I'm going to have it coming up this way and curling under and then what we want to do is we want to bring in uh, not like that quite like that we want to curl it have it curl a little more and we want to bring our point back but as we bring it back we also want to bring in some how is it um, sort of swirl areas I guess you could say but that's not quite how I would want them to have one so um, I think I'm just going to adjust the position a bit I'm gonna have to redo that bit now because I just smooshed the whole thing so I'm just going to quickly redo over this which means that you'll get to see part of how to do it since I was clumsy enough to have it out of frame so we just want to bring it back around like in a teardrop shape so trying to connect them like teardrops but also to have them touching as you do each one Here we go, and now I think I kind of I would have probably been better to have it over here. I've got so many smudge marks now because of their racing and all the grey lead. <laughs> um, so I'm going to start roughly. We want it come up and then. around so I did go over a little bit with that one I'll race that out now because I'm trying to do it behind the other seaweeds not on top of them and as we get here we want to um, what is it bring it down similar to how we did this one that's kind of how we want to do this one but you can sort of only I guess do it how far it works so it's probably not quite as good as Joanna's is but it's better than nothing and then we just want a little line between each of the little lumps but because this is behind the other seaweed we want to um, keep it behind so we're not going to worry about drawing the details in those areas behind I think I'm also going to just do um, I'm working this out so I think I'm just going to add in some of the more basic sort of seaweeds like a little piece of like this uh, no I'm not gonna worry about that one just redo this again more smudge marks I'm just hoping I'm not inting the page too much so the lines will show through so I think I'm not going to worry about that. I'm just going to do like some little, I want to make sure that we keep our little piece of land there. I'm just going to do some of my 
my seaweed, adding that in. And then as we add that in, we also want to just add in some of these little skinny bits of seaweed as well in spots. So we want to, I guess, have it going its own directions, but we do also want want it to have its own flow and direction but look similar to what else is going on in that area. And have it at different heights as well so some of these might only be really small or short. Others might be taller or longer. And now I think I'm going to actually erase out because just one of these little areas because I want to add a little skinny piece in front. And I need kind of to be able to draw that. On there. I'm not quite that thick, I don't want it. And obviously we're going to have to touch up areas again because we've got our other areas in front here. Just a little bubble seaweed. And also our thicker seaweed behind it. And yeah, and then I'm also going to add in some like skinny bits right behind here too. do that maybe some slightly taller thicker pieces see we're here I'm not gonna go it's gonna be hard getting close to the spine so I'm probably not going to try too much close to the spine we'll see yeah, looks like I'm going a little closer than I was intending to but bring in some of these little, I guess, areas of their own. So that one's mostly behind. Same for, I think I'm just going to bring in a little piece that is wrapping behind here. little piece probably I kind of want one last little piece curling out around this way so it's coming down behind here behind and then just here we'll just do some little skinny pieces of seaweed uh, that's a bit thicker than I was intending to, but I guess it is what it is right now. I'm just going to make that a bit thicker at the stem there, just because it is what it is. So we'll just work with what we've got.
I don't know if that's working or not, but I hope it is. So yeah, that's basically just how I'm going to do the seaweed there. I think I will probably try working on other bits of seaweed off camera. And basically we'll just be repeating some of these bits that we did over here with our curves and that. We'll be repeating them over this side, over the other side here. And I'll also be basically adding in the same types of seaweed in other areas. If I do the stat salamites or something up the top areas here, I will bring you in to show you how I do those. But otherwise, I'm going to leave it at that for this part. I hope this sort of gives you an idea on how to do it because I really wasn't sure how to show you the actual drawing of things. And yeah, I will see you next time if you enjoyed this please leave a like subscribe comment i always love hearing from you and yeah i will see you next time bye